I usually have to get in the zone for things like this, and Make I didn't Austin's come over here dead. for all that. Make Austin dead. I drove all this way, Bishop. He drove all this way, Bishop. It was like seven hours. It's like seven hours, dude. Really? <laughs> Think of how much money he's putting in your pocket. <laughs> it's a lot. And all he wants is you to do the fucking intro for our video. All right. That's all he wants. He said it himself, not me. I did say that. I didn't just make this up. All right, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Bishop Walker here at the House of Masks where we unbox and do cool stuff almost every single day. And today is not any different because today we have presents all the way around. You actually genuinely caught me off guard. I was about to speak and then you did it and it scared me and also just fucked me up. Two seconds earlier. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Bishop Walker here at the House of Masks. Soon after. So. Well. Uh, that wasn't planned. Uh, you gotta stay on your toes. We are one day away from Thanksgiving, <laughs> and we have a special guest here to do some sort of uh, transactions, if you will, prior to the madness that will be tomorrow. So today's Friday, tomorrow's Saturday, that's when the concert's going on. And, and we'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow. Or we won't. Oh no, we'll see you. I mean, if you're a big stupid bitch, we won't see you. <laughs> stupid ass. But if you're a cool ass pussy slayer, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you there. Dude. Yeah, or dick slayer. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever, I'm just, whatever it's 2022, you want. man. man we're uh, all the way open. Anyways, we've got a special guest here. I'm going to bring him in, and uh, we're going to give him something first, and we'll talk a little bit about that, and then he has something very special for me. So, are you ready? Mr. Austin Wilson. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you want to introduce yourself and uh, say how you got wrapped up in all this and then how you got tricked into coming and hanging out with us and just watching us be bad people all day? Uh, well, I, uh, I won a Jim Root guitar and uh, I thought, what better way to contribute to Palefest than to donate said guitar to the House of Masks. People are gonna be really upset about that. So Austin is a longtime patron of the House of Masks he also is some sort of savage animal that just wins all of these V3 auctions. So when you guys see us do the one of a kind, hand done by a select artist V3 mask, he has won every single one except for one. And he won another one prior to this concert and he hit me up and said he was coming to the show. And I was like, well, I'll just give it to you in person if that's okay. So I've got that, you entertain them. I'm gonna go grab the mask. And I'll be right back. Yeah, I was gonna say, one of the coolest parts of Palefest, amongst the many that were going on, was when you walked over and you just unzipped your bag of goodies, and we were just sitting there like, dude, what the... He but like, not his nutsack, or his wiener. <laughs> well, speak for yourself, bud, I mean... <laughs> yeah, some I stuff mean, happened, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, that was after Palefest. I mean, he had all of them. He did. It was cool. And we took the probably one of my favorite pictures, because yeah. we're all three holding them, and we got our little spooky outfits on. So. I would like you to take take hold of your new possession there. This is the Joey Fabricius uh, Pumpkin King. And again, one of one, V3. You've got them all except for one, man. And I think that you could get that from that dude. It's possible. It's always a possibility. Everybody's got a price. Never say never. My price is $4, by the way, just in case anybody was curious. So, if you have anything you want to say, anything you want to do, you didn't, I'm not giving this to you, so it's not like you have to say thanks and cry on camera. No way. But we would appreciate it. Thank you so much for the opportunity to own such a beautiful piece. I love it. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Okay, so, look at these. Dude. I just noticed these. Yeah, come on, them soaked. Them soaked. He yeah. wore these to a Guar show, sold out Guar show in Richmond, Virginia. That's pretty fucking cool. I think it's pretty tight. Normally I'm like, no, don't wear your shit. Don't wear those, they're collector's items, but he did it right and he got them soaked by Guar, so that's pretty rad. Okay, moving on to the second part of the video. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's fucking do this. All right, get me out of here. Explain how this even came to be. Like how, how t tell me the details about the contest. So, do you want to open it first or you want to? Should we reveal it as we talk about it? I have no recollection of how to do it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you do whatever you need to do. Jesus Christ, that's a pretty guitar. What? <laughs> Even the, the, just the inside of the case, that fucking, 
Velvet? Pretty fucking nuts. Alright, I'll hold it. You tell them. I gotcha. So basically, uh, Fret 12 did a contest back in, I think, 2017, 2018, where they were giving away three guitars. Uh, it was a Telecaster, a Jazzmaster, and the Stratocaster. The contest for this, you had to watch a video and find the hidden messages and then plug them in. What, yeah, was that, the, what were the hidden messages? Oh, fuck if I remember. I remember this contest, but I obviously didn't enter it. I don't anything. remember. I don't remember what the, the actual thing was. It was something about uh, the album, I'm and sure. And you just nailed it? And I nailed it. And uh, so the guy from Fret 12 called me and was like, Hey, uh, so you're not the first person to actually win this. You're the third because the first two people didn't pick up. So it pays to answer your phone. What the fuck? Yeah. So he hit me up about this piece and was just wondering how how it could benefit Palefest, essentially, and uh, I know how cool the museums are at uh, Knotfest, so uh, one of the things I noticed was people getting to play Jim's guitars, and I don't know anything about guitars, and I, I'm not really like a stage-used instrument uh, collector per se, but I just thought of like how cool that would be, you know, people came in here and they were taking pictures of stage-used war pieces and they got to hold the severed head and hold the axe, and I was like, man, this would be just like another level uh, for people to come in here and do, and it just adds one more layer to the House of Masks stuff, so I just pitched the idea of, of rehoming it here uh, for everybody to enjoy every Pale Fest from here on out, I guess, and Austin was into it, uh, and you're one of the people that took a picture with those guar props. Yeah, so, I did. I sure did. Uh, he definitely understands, and uh, yeah, what a crazy, crazy donation. Um, so on camera, I'm going to get real mushy. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate uh, everything that you do for the House of Masks. Uh, all jokes aside, the uh, the longtime patronage, uh, the constantly buying the masks, and now this, which is just on a completely different level, um, is fucking gnarly, man. So we definitely appreciate you. And I'm going to shake your hand right here on camera, okay? Sounds good. Uh, now he just gets to hang out with us for the rest of the evening. Or until he just gets sick of me and Bishop being fucking weirdos. Which we have. Hey, Bishop! Yeah? You see what I mean? It's not all it's cracked up to be. What do you think? He was like, man, this is like, a, this is so cool to just like see the behind the scenes and me and Bishop were like, I don't even know what the fuck we were talking about, but it's weird <laughs> shit, man, so. Yeah, you won't get that on Patreon, but you should be on Patreon. Look at this guy plugging my shit for me, man. <laughs> it's really, it's worth it. It's really worth it. You get to see behind the scenes stuff before uh, AJ makes a video, so. Good Crazy shit. Stuff. Austin, seriously, thank you so much. Uh, I'm very, very stoked about this. It's it's a different level. I'm going to shoot a different uh, video on this uh, with Stay Metal Ray. He's going to tell me as much shit as he can about it, and uh, we're just going to discuss it. Maybe he'll even play it or something. I don't know. That'd be rad. All right, man. That is going to do it for today's video. You want to do the outro? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know what to say. Um... Let me think about this. Ben, what would I say? I don't know how the fuck do you normally close a video? I say, say no to drugs and alcohol, but normally there's like a lead into it. Mm. Say wow. yes to album used guitars. Wow, are you yeah. serious? What? <laughs> art, art, dude, this is literally <laughs> your profession. Oh yeah, you're right. This yeah, is like right. what you do all day, every day. This is a different kind of video, motherfucker. Look, hey guys. Say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to super dope things that you'll be able to see every time you guys come to Pale Fest. I don't need to do the outro now. Bishop just nailed it. <sighs> All right, bye forever.